I don't know about you, but when I get things in the mail, I, um, I get a little giddy about it. And today I got some Smoothcast, yeah, Smoothcast 320 and some mold release from SmoothOn. And I've never used either of them, and so I wanted to give them a try because we are also going to be using this extensively in the ruined tower project that's coming up pretty soon. And I wanted to make sure it worked before I got really too far into it. And I, I suspect that it will, but um, at the same time, it's good to have some practice too. So what I'm going to do, if you've ever gotten, if you've, ever, if you've never done resins before, they are a little bit different animal. And um, so what we're going to do is take this mold. This is the, uh, the shelf rock mold from, from uh, Woodland Scenics that I just got on clearance from Hobby Lobby. And we're going to mix some resin in there. The 320 has about a three minute pot life and a 10 minute demold time. So it's pretty quick. Um, they do make other versions of it that is a little slower to cure. Uh, but I found that with resins that take a long time, I get a little annoyed with it. So um, I got something a little a little faster this time. So I did make the mistake once of pouring resin into a rubber mold like this without using mold release. And it took me about a week of picking at it to get it all cleaned out. So um, don't get cocky. Just spend the 15 bucks on a bottle and uh, go from there. So what we've got here, um, when mixing uh, resins, uh, I like to use the three cup method, meaning I have two equal portions, well, in this case, two equal portions by volume of the resin, because it's a two-part resin, and then we pour them both into a separate container to um, keep, try to keep as best we can the same ratio of, of products. And as soon as I can find the stir stick that I forgot to get. Here we are. Yuck. Okay, now that I've got my stir stick, otherwise known as a tongue depressor, um, yeah. So if you've never used resins before, well, here's your chance to see how it goes before you go and get into it. And really it makes a, pr a pretty durable product. And we're going to be building a rock with this particular thing. Mix it well. Mix it very well, for that matter. And this really is pretty thin stuff. A lot thinner than I was expecting it to be. Most of my experience with two-part things like this is with, uh, I mean, I used to make snowboards as a hobby, and so the epoxy that you would mix was really, really thick, and you would mix it with fiberglass in order to get structure on the snowboard. Okay, so that is, wow, that is really thin, but that's okay, because, hey, we are here to learn and actually it's a bit exothermic. The cup is pretty warm. So I'm just, oh, shit. I forgot to spray it after I told you all not to do, forget to do that. I'm gonna rinse it off real quick, if I can. Like I was saying, we're going to use the facet rock mold. actually steaming. And it, wow, when they say three minutes, they are not fooling around. And 
that or Dentley. And I did not mix it very well. So we're going to let that dry. And I think we're going to try again. Yeah, when they say a three minute pot life, it's three minutes. Period. It should demold here in about 10. So we're going to put that aside. Go get us another mold. All right. My first go with fast acting resins is not what I would call an overwhelming success. Um, it did capture the vast amount of detail, but I really didn't have time to spread it around because I ran over to the sink to try and save the one mold that I forgot to spray um, a release agent in. So we're going to try again, and hopefully I'm going to have my stuff together a little better. Um, but I have to say the release agent worked marvelously. This popped right out of there with no effort at all. And um, yeah, I think I will definitely be keeping a can of it around uh, from now on. So um, let's try this again. Um, this time paying better attention to what's actually going on. And yeah. Usually when I've worked with this stuff, it is um, about an hour, maybe 40 minutes to cure. Um, and so you have lots of time to kind of screw around and make mistakes. But um, no, not with this. So let's try again. And uh, yeah, I think the three minute mark starts right now. The countdown, I should say. And you can also use a dumpy old paintbrush to spread this around if you if you want. Maybe I should do that just to get it up here into the cracks a little bit. And I'm just going to basically kind of hand rotocast this thing until it set up.
I can feel the heat this puts out through the rubber. Well, it's getting pretty thick, but it hasn't popped like it did last time. And I don't, I don't know what the difference is. other than I didn't let it sit in a cup and react. Because it should have a, man, yeah, maybe this is more how it's supposed to be because um, it has a demold time of, of 10 minutes and this I was able to demold almost as soon as it turned white. Oh, and there it's starting to go. Okay, here we go. and it turns to an off-white color. So we'll let that sit for a few more minutes and um, come back to it to, to demold it. In case you didn't believe me, this thing is just going to peel right out of there. Ta-da! And I have to say, for my second go around with this stuff, it looks pretty good. Um, high points or low points here, um, looks like it ran off the peaks a little bit. I'm kind of wondering if a paintbrush, just a dumpy old paintbrush, would work better to try and get these peaks covered up, or well, peaks in here, low spots on here. Um, but then what we can do once this is here is done. We can flip it over, or maybe before we even take it out of the mold, we can fill this with expanding foam, and then that gives us a nice, solid piece of something. Otherwise, if you have, um, let's say, a, a hillside or something that's curved, you know, unlike plaster, this is nice because you can curve it around the hillside, and it looks, it looks good. I mean, it just does. And so... Um, so yeah, there's, uh, there's the first go round with smooth cast 320 with one heck of a fast cure time. And I think I like it after, I think I'll take some getting used to, but I think I'm going to like it. And, uh, and there you go. Um, like I said, we're going to be using this in the ruined tower project. And so if you're going to be participating in that, that this is something you're going to want to pick up and I will put a link to it in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.